You need to know such a scripture in this wicked world we live in. The psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. He says, I waked for the Lord. It is the Lord that sustains men. I want to show you how to access lights that gives you command. It says, thou shalt be blessed in the city. Thou shalt be blessed in Lagos. Stop thinking Lagos alone. Think the globe. Everywhere has a portion of yours. Your, listen, the Bible says the increase of the earth is for how many? For all. There is a portion for all men in the earth. It says even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. There is a portion for you in the US. There is a portion for you in Europe. You don't have to be there to access your portion. Light can draw it to you where you are. Do you believe what you're hearing? Consistent study of the scripture. That kings will come to entreat your favor. This is what is written. That God can restore years. No man can restore time. Time does not go backward. Time only goes forward. But the one who created time has a way of of working things out that it can take events that should have happened and bring it to your future god for you but have you found it do you know what he has written how about psalm 112 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands the bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth that the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever Genesis 17 and verse 6. I will make you exceeding fruitful. Are we together? It says I will make kings from out of you. You are called to a life of influence. Don't just attract great people. Make great people out of you. Kings coming out of you. Kings coming out of you. Kings coming out of you. Oh, apostle, you don't know my situation. I come from a family where we were all cursed. You are not the first person to be cursed. When Reuben saw his father's, he, he slept with his father's concubine, a curse came upon him. He said, you are the firstborn, you are the strength of my might, but unstable as the wind, you will not succeed. But a time came, the man was depleting, and Moses spoke a prophetic word. He said, let Reuben live, and let his people not be few. You are not the first to go to a family with causes and foundational things have you found the voice that can speak and say let Joseph leave let Mary leave let this person or that person leave there is always a way out and that way has been written but until you search you cannot find laziness of many believers as far as the consistent study of scripture is concerned is their unbecoming obtain grace in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Commit yourself to study. Much study in the name of Jesus. Are we learning? So the first way that believers access light is through consistent study of scripture. Number two, very quickly. The second way we access light in the kingdom. If you are learning, say amen. amen. The second way we access light in the kingdom is through the power of corporate fellowship. The house of God. Micah chapter 2. And verse 4. Something happens to believers when you are gathered in the house of God like this. You know the Bible says how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. He likens it to the oil that starts from the head of Aaron the priest down to his bed, down to his skirt. He says for there God had commanded a blessing even life forevermore. Micah chapter 4 and verse 2 talking about the house of the Lord. Let me read it here. 2 and verse 4. It says, in that day, Micah, did I get that right? 4 verse 2, not 2 verse 4, please. Corrected media. Micah 4 verse 2. Do I have it there? It says, and many nations, let's read together, one to read. And many nations shall say, come and let us go up to the mount of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. What happens there? And he will teach us. 
The teaching ministry happens in the house of God and men can access light. Light that brings dominion. Imagine if you were not here today. All the sessions that have come. One, listen, let me tell you the truth. As big as a door is, the key that opens it can be in your pocket. But if that key is missing, you can stand from morning till night. Doors don't answer to sentiments. Are we together now? The first way doors open according to scripture is the use of correct keys. Not the use of keys. The use of correct keys. The house of God is a mysterious place ordained by God where the saints can access light. Distilled strategic light. Where the teaching priest has gone through the labor of piecing together the revelation enough for your consumption that you can trust what you are receiving. You have been saved the labor of editing, searching the scripture. It is the reason why you should honor every man of God that labors in word and doctrine loving you beginning from your pastor. Because most people do not understand the labor of the average serious man of God in putting together a sermon. It is a feast of light already prepared for you. According to Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you pastors or shepherds according to my heart and they will feed you huh, with wisdom, with understanding, knowledge. You want to access light, number one, the consistent study of scripture number two the house of god i was glad when they said unto me let us go not let me go the business of the house of god is a business of us it says when i came into the house of the lord then understood i their end there is understanding when you come to the house of god are we learning number three the third way we access light is through the power of mentorship. My God, do not forget this. The power of mentorship. Light being knowledge, light being revelation, light being illumination. Strategic distilled knowledge comes easily through the power of mentorship. Mentorship is a great gift especially to the mentee because you are having the opportunity to draw every knowledge from the one who is teaching you minus the pain factor he takes away the pain in one day you can receive the wisdom of a man's labor of 10 years minus the pain let me tell you the truth i preached a message last year i think it was lessons from an overcomer it's a message worth listening to. And there I teach about the lessons that overcomers have to teach a generation. Lesson number one was that ignorance is not a demon. You don't solve it by casting it out. Among the many lessons captured in that teaching is that it is not what affects you. What happens to you that affects you is the meaning that you give it. I gave an example in that teaching that what is the difference between falling under the anointing and falling in a restaurant? You fell. Why do you rejoice over one and get embarrassed over the other? The meaning you have connected to it. If you fall under the anointing now, you will get up. No matter how dirty you look, you say, praise God. God has finally answered me. Someone will even be praying, why was I not the one who fell? Yet you fall in a restaurant and you feel like dying there. You fell. Maybe the worst fall was even in church, yet you were happy. Meaning is powerful. You have a responsibility of redefining the meanings that you give things. Hallelujah. Mentorship is powerful. Moses carried his pain for many years, invested it in the young boy Joshua. Jesus used three and a half years. Look at the ratio of transformation to empowerment. Three and a half years to one night. This is how Jesus raises people. You're a leader here. Let me challenge you. Don't be too quick to lay hands on people. Lay hands on capacity. It will work better. Because every oil assumes the shape of the vessel and the size of the vessel. Most times it's not an oil problem. Are we together now? If the vessel is small, it will make the oil look small. The prophet gave the solution. He said, go and borrow vessels. You can't borrow oil but borrow vessels 
borrow vessels.